Hi, Carol here, and I'm back. But I don't mind being back now because I just realized it's not going to be a total part two. It's going to be my haul plus part two. <laughs> so it's not that bad. All right, here's where we are. I have the three snowmen down. Flat, flat, dimensional, dimensional here. The little guy is on the outside. I used ultra-thick embossing uh, powder on here with the Versamark. And I have my next strip already completed, so you don't have to go through the pain of watching that dry. And it is going to go right there, I guess, now, right? Because I've already stuck it down. And that's with the Sticky Stuff Store dimensionals, 3 16th of an inch, wonderful, affordable, sticky stuff. So just go to the Sticky Stuff store and you will not be disappointed. Um, let me get some scissors here and we will trim this down. And then this is off that card from Pinterest. And like I say, I never totally case something the same. I always put my own spin on it, but the concept is there from Mary's card. So uh, let's see, let's get all that ultra thick embossing powder. It is so nice, that stuff. I hope I have it down. All right, so we have um, that. I'm just going to take my BG10 and go over a little bit on doesn't have to be exact here just to give it some shadow uh, fade it out here it's hard for me not to put stick hands on these snowmen Isn't that funny and then I put uh, I did the background in um, the blue what did I use faded jeans and I distressed the books with uh, torn worn lipstick in the Distress Inks and Black Soot. I put, I bought this score tape. I got the 1 18th inch and I got the half inch. And it says it's premium, so I wanted to try it. And I didn't have any 1 18th inch, which I need. And for these um, um, minis I'm making. And it's pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. My Walmart stuff is good, but this is pretty good too. So I put the 1 18th of an inch behind here to put my little ribbon on my booklets, glue gunned vellum and the uh, print on the inside, which you're really not going to see that much of it. So now I'm going to sit down and we are going to put it together and I'm going to go through my haul quickly. So let's grab my quick stick, my bunch of punched out things here and let's get at her. Um, I'm going to put Dazzling Diamonds on all the stars. So I am going to be, let's see, this one I think will go on this one here. So let's get pushing out some glue, like a so. All right, so. Because it's uh, three-dimensional, it can be up past there. I don't mind that. And then let's put this little gaffer right here. And I'm going to go make myself some lunch. And there we go. And then this one is going to go on. Mm, that's kind of big. Let's go with this one. Right here, that's better. Need a bit more glue here. There we are. It dries clear, so I'm not going to worry about it. There we are. And I think I'm going to give this one a bigger. Am I? No, I don't like it. Come on, I must have another one. Maybe I'll do this one sideways, like that. Oh, I need more glue. There we are. 
I like it because it dries clear so you don't have to worry about it. There, he's singing out of the side of his mouth there. And the little booklets. I took out some red. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to... No, I'm going to put it on the side there. So let's get some more glue. Right here. And can you see this if I put it up there? Yikes. I mean, that's going to dry. That's big glob. Uh, let's take some off there. I don't like that. I can't live with that one. Let's try and do it on here. That would be better. That looked pretty bad. You can't hurry. That's what happens when you hurry. Let's grab the corner of that and we'll put it right there on the songbook. So there's one little songbook. Isn't that cute? The little pages. I love it. Let's get it down. Open it up and I'm going to put glue, gun glue on the sides just really thin. And you know, I don't even mind that it's if it hangs out a bit because it'll just look like frost. It's awesome. Okay, make sure I get the book sizes right. That's the little one. So that's this one going down like this. Whoop, nope, I'll do it again. I was too slow. All right, one more time. One, two, and I have to drop it because it has to open up here like that. That's awesome. Hmm, bit of difficulty here. Nope. Excellent. Okay, let me just see here. Can I live with that? No. I want to redo this. Even though you see all this goobity gup, it's okay. Because it needs to sit up a ways. And I don't want to tear into my book. But I don't mind that. It's just going to add some bulk to lift it up. So that's okay. So now I'm really adding the glue. Alright, let's give it a go. One, two. There. That's better. Get all those things. That's cute. That's cute. There's his little song thing in there. His little musical note. And that'll dry. I'm going to put a musical note on the other side. But let's get these books on. You have to open them up, I guess, a bit. That's the key. There. Put that down first. I'm going to go like that. Even though I've got goobies. Look at that string on there. Like that. Well, it's not on there anymore. It's on my hand. Okay. Let me get that all out. Get in the garbage. Okay. All right. Then I can pick this up and I will put a little bit on the snowman itself. Like that. I'm changing my tactic. And then doing that. Like that. And just let it dry for a second. Awesome. I'm really happy with this. Thank you, Mary, for that inspiration. And let's take a little gold one. Let's put some glue on there. Uh, maybe. See, this has to have pressure added to it to get it out. There it is. Okay. All right. So on this side is going to be gold. There. And... Um... I changed my tactic here. Let me go like this. Change of tactic. Um, one right there. And it does. It looks like icicles. It's not bad. There. Oh, this is funny. Look at I did this ribbon going up there. 
Oh, I tell you. Okay, there's the book there. I can't even look at that. It's too funny. So I gotta tear that off. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, don't you? Okay. I am just gonna take that and add it to the bottom somehow, but not right now. Okay, let's get on to this guy. Little snowman number two. These stringies drive me crazy. There. Okay, so let's get this down. Right about there. Down like that. And push that in there. And wait a second. Okay, that's the second, Carol. There. Isn't that cute? Look! So sweet. All right, let's get our um, quick gawking at it there, Carol. Let's get some of these musical notes on there, and then we'll get our stars and it's finished. And then I'll take it into my little hall. This is a little hall. Okay, so we'll do red on this side. I almost wonder if I should use glue dots. I don't know. I'll see if that um, dries. Let's do the gold on the other side. Like change uh, pens. Okay. This is tiny stuff to work with. There. And then a nice, let me see what this one is. I like this one, this big one on the big book. That works out perfect. Let's get the right instrument here. There we go. That's going on there. I wouldn't want to have to do a hundred of these cards but I wouldn't mind doing a few because <laughs> this is like, oh, it's giving me a neck ache. There we go. Turn this one over. Get these strings off my nails. Come on, tip over. And we're finished there. I have to look at it to see if there's anything else I was gonna put on it. How's that? Isn't that cute? Other than my stars, but I'm going to put it on. There's the inside Merry Christmas. And let's get this on with um, two-sided tape, I think would be the best for this. I will use my, I use my, um, oh, I'm not gonna show it because I'd have to take, I don't know if you can see it there, but this is that, let me just take it up. See this thing here? This is one of those banana holders that holds your banana, uh, banana. <laughs> That's your paper towel holder. You won't, don't want to put your bananas on there. It won't stay paper towel holder. And I just put all of my tapes on there. So let's see if I can get back to the project at hand. Oh my, I can't see it here. Just a second. I have two things going. All right, I want it on there. Let me move this out of the way over where it should be and let's see that looks good how far can I go over here right there okay move this down and let's get that on so I'm obviously going to put it on this side because I don't want to wreck the books that are on there and I don't want to put it three-dimensional like I uh, use the uh, dimensionals because I have the books sticking out so I think it would look odd so this is good and this is my dollar this is my Walmart two dollar tape love it and then I just put it on my banana holder <laughs> I'm sorry can you imagine trying to put a banana holder on a um, paper towel holder, but uh, 
I've got another one downstairs for my paper towel, so I brought this one upstairs for my rolls. They don't roll all over the place. And I have a project for making uh, duct tape. That's why I went out last night to get duct tape, colored duct tape. For this project I'm going to do on one of my minis, making a belt. It is awesome. Awesome. I got that off Kathy Orda. She's amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, there we are. Oh, I love this card. I do. Some cards you just look at. And then I'm going to take, let me see if I can, oh, I'll do that after. I guess let's get some of those stars up there. There it is. Look. And look at that. Um, the beautiful ice from that uh, extra thick embossing powder. You get a great big bucket of it at uh, Michael's. And, um, okay, so I don't need these. I'm going to put these that I made inside here. And I'm going to use the stars. Oh, my shattered nerves. Another thing. I think this is going to be the faster way to go about this. Grab my glue and do the the ones I want because then you just press down, press down like this. And then I will put them on. So if I can see which ones I had on there. Isn't that funny? Look at these eatsy eatsies. How cute are they? I'll never get them off my stick, but they're cute. There. Mm. Here and grab my glue because they're stars. I guess I don't want them too close to them, right? Up in the corner. I thought of snowflakes, but I thought this would be nice. That one's already glued, I can see that. And this was a fun project. This was a fun card. I loved every minute, but I love snowmen. So I could, you know, go on and on with them. Oh, there we go. My sticky stuff has with some more out there. All right, let's put one there and call it done. Put a big one right there. And because they're sticking up on the dots, it's really cute. Maybe another one here. There we are. And then we'll get some dazzling diamonds on those. Oh, that is a cute card. So let's do that, move this out of the way, and then we'll get into my haul. So, oh my, the wrong one again. They both feel the same in your hand. Okay, where's my glue? Let's get out this right away. Let's get my dazzling diamonds, and then we'll be finished the card. Dazzling diamonds. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should use this. No, I'm going to stick with the plan because it comes, it does come out if you set it down like that. Let me see here. Okay, little wee one there. The small ones are nice to do. Get out, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go into my hall. Okay, nope, one right there. Alrighty. Dazzling diamonds. And Oh, that'll look nice. There we go. 
Let it sit for a minute. And is that not cute or what? I love it. Okay, there you have it. We're finished. So we have the little song notes on there. Our little snowman singing away. We've got the snow. We've got the stars with dazzling diamonds. Then you open up this card and you have Merry Christmas with our little singer. And um, I can't help myself. I have to put this on the bottom. The notes. I just do. So uh, even though it looks like Elvis Presley's gate to whatever his place was called there, I can't remember. That's terrible. Oh, that's cute. So that will have red. Should I do that one or the red one? Hang on. Move my dazzling diamonds out. Oh, I have to do red because of the red. Merry Christmas here. Oh, I almost had the perfect gate. All right, let's go. One. And two. Let's see how we are there. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Let's grab some Tombow Mono Malti. Let's show you in there. And we are finished. And I'll get myself some lunch. And go on to card number two. That's what I told you I would do. Alright, let's get out the Tombow. There we are. There we go. Yes. This was... I just needed to stop and do something different. And I'm going to need a few cards, so this is good. There we are. I'm trying to think where should this be? Should it be in the center? No, it has to be at the bottom. It's a gate. It's a gate, Carol. All right, let me get a piece of paper towel. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to have to go way over here to get a piece of towel. It dries. So it dries um, clear. I'm good. It was still sparkle. All right. There you have it, my friends. I am loving it there. Merry Christmas. And there's my singers with my notes. All right, we have five minutes to do my haul. I'll take a picture of that and put it on my blog because I love it. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I still have sticky, so I'm going to have to leave that up there till I can get a cloth to clean it. I'll go like this. And let me show you my haul. It was Ah, fabulous. Let me get it. I don't even have it out yet. All right. Let's see. Black duct tape, because I already have gray duct tape. So I picked up the black. Wait till you see these belts that I'm going to make out of this. Awesome. Put that over there. That was at my uh, supply store, my office supply store. This is going to be for me to, they're sponge moistening things. I'm going to grab a dozen of them when they go on sale. They weren't on sale, but I wanted to try them. And you can make your sprays in that, but you can put it on with the uh, sponge. Yikes. Walmart. I got white thread for my sewing machine, but I don't know how to thread it. <laughs> how pathetic is that? Walmart. Look at this ribbon. It was on for $2. I had to get it. Take a look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I can see my time is running. I'm going to save the best to last here. Now look at this. This is Tyvek. T-Y-V-E-K, I think they spell it. And this is the stuff that you cannot rip. And um, 
I'm going to get a case of them. They didn't, they had an open case, so I didn't want to take it, but they're going to get more in. So this is for your minis, and it will not rip. When you put it on the back, it'll help bind your uh, uh, minis, your covers. And so this Tyvek is awesome stuff. So I think I picked out 30 of them. I won't use 30 anytime soon, but Tyvek, if you can find it, awesome. It's what they make in your mail-out envelopes, but this is the Tyvek itself. So that was really scrumptious to get that. Then I'm going to do my next album with these envelopes that are 5 and 7 eighths by 9 inches, like that. Okay, so that was excellent. I was really glad to get that because it was the exact size of the uh, envelope thing Kathy Orta had was making and so I can follow it along in measurement it makes it much easier and then I got some of these tags these white strong marking tags which there's 50 of them and they're awesome because uh, you don't have to make them yourself and they're perfect size they look like two inches by one and a half inches or maybe anyway and then, I need, remember I broke this, my, my uh, hole puncher, so I got another one. Okay, and then I broke my X-Acto knife. I mean, how do you break an X-Acto knife? I did. Let me show you. Oh, that's not it. Come on, where's my X-Acto knife? See on the, I don't know if you can see this, but right the tip came off. You need the tip on your X-Acto knife. So this one was really nice. I like the uh, metal, the silver. So I got a new X-Acto knife. Let me put that away. Dangerous. And then I got a bunch of, um, of my little wee runners, tape runners. They had them on. And then their brand name was on sale. So I bought a bunch of these because it's good to just have these. Even though you have an ATG gun, or like me, I have three of them, uh, two half inch and or one half inch and two uh, quarter inch ATG guns. Okay, so I got those. I have to put them away, and then I always pick one of these Scotch Quick Dry. These are. I hate to say this, but even better than Tombow Mono Malty. Uh, I did a th like I did a thing to see which one would stick faster and uh, last longer, and I, it was the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. This one out, but my Tombow, I buy it too. See, I used it right there. But I have to say, this Scotch Quick Dry, if it goes on sale, pick it up. It's awesome, especially if you do a lot of uh, liquid. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. Look at this. I have never seen this anywhere. Uh, and it is for tags. Heavyweight tag board. A hundred sheets in the tag color. Look at that. Now I can make my tags. It's huge. Um, it's good for calligraphy, stencil, flashcard stamping, all of it. Colored pencil, crayons, mixed media. Um, so I got this one and a white one. I'll see you later. Bye.